Yeah. Hi. Hi. Um, thanks for coming. I uh, hope you're all well seated on the carpets. I'm um, here tonight to uh, share with you a story. Currently, I'm composing a music record with the Danish Defense. Um, the army, the Danish army, has led me into their premises. So, my studio is in the barracks. And I spend time with the, with the young boys who's gone to Afghanistan. And the stories that they tell me, I compose songs from those stories. So tonight I'm excited to share one with you. And this one, I've been thinking <clears throat> what happens to a body during combat. So this is the heartbeat that's monitored on a soldier in Afghanistan in 2009. It's an uh, indicator of how his body responds to combat. The voice is the most finely tuned motor skill of the body and therefore also the first to show signs of great stress. voice, it will stutter, it'll search, or even become mute. space waiting for my performance to start you're not expecting anything dangerous I suppose therefore you're on the lowest level of stress possible and this is the white level of stress and it's ranging from 60 to 80 beats per minute Then you have dogs, who are natural predators. They're always keen to play or fight, to joke or mate or run. And they're always on a higher level of stress than you and I. This is the yellow level of stress, and it's ranging from 80 to 115 beats a minute.
And the next stage is the stage you want to be in a combat situation. Here, your body is optimized for combat. So your movements, your vision, and your reaction time is the most efficient in this stage. However, one must be aware that the fine motor skills of the body, such as the voice, can start to malfunction at this stage. Words and orders that you've heard before become the easiest to understand. So this is the red level of stress and it's ranging from 115 to 145 beats per minute.
change the orange flames. So consciousness starts to be affected in the next stage. Somehow your body is expecting to become wounded. The blood vessels in the shallow layers of your skin start to contract. This will cause your wounds to bleeding less severely. Tunnel vision might occur, and your visionary sense of depth is affected. Bullets flying through the air now become perceptible because everything you see is registered in slow motion. At this stage, your ears can cancel out certain sounds. This is the gray level of stress and it's ranging from 145 to 180 beats per minute. Your pulse is now beating so fast that the chambers of your heart does not fill up with blood entirely before it's being pumped out again. This will prevent your brain from receiving the oxygen it needs. The most dangerous stage of this is something called hypervigilance, which is an uh, overtly alert state in which neither bodily or mental processes can function. act impulsively, perform without thinking, or you might even freeze completely. Somehow the conflict is not so much between the mind and the body, but rather between the body and its training, or perhaps the soldier and his unit. And this is the black level of stress. Stains could show it 
from your heart's desires because you've found it. your bloody double chest so when will that go on unnoticed I don't know the blood stains would show it from your heart's desires because you Double chest. <laughs>